Okay, the other day I was watching a video by another creator and she was talking about how she had been struggling to put a TV in her car and not one single guy who like walked by who was fit offered to help her put it in her car. Eventually an older gentleman helped her put it in the car, but I was shocked at the comments from some of these men in her comment section. These guys were like, oh, well, we're scared of being labeled as creepy because like every time a guy talks to a girl, we're going to be labeled as creepy. This argument made me so mad for so many different reasons. There's this undertone of like blaming women for why men are not gentlemen anymore. I feel like they're just exposing themselves for being creepy because no woman, if you come up, politely offer to help, put it in her car, say, have a nice day, walk away, is going to be like, oh, that guy was so creepy for helping me. We appreciate genuine offers to help us. It's when you linger around, press for our number, touch our waist oddly, that's where it becomes creepy. And if you're afraid of a blanket creepy label, you might want to talk. Seriously, women lack accountability. They are hypocrites. They're delusional. And I could say more words, but I might get a strike for it. But it seems like women are just blind to reality. They literally live in their delusional world. Right? She said a whole lot of things. This next video will pretty much debunk after absolutely everything she said and i'm going to talk about it afterwards i'm literally shaking right now because i just had a man approach me in a parking lot and it went fine and i'm going to tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book i read and this is how you're supposed to address it but it scared me i'm literally i'm literally shaking so this guy i am a, alone with my son by myself a woman and a male approached me in a parking lot he's excuse me miss and i don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do and before he i mean he was probably 30 feet from me when he said excuse me ma'am and i turned around and i literally yelled at him and i said do not approach me and he like immediately started going in the other direction and i just kept saying it over and over and over i said do not approach me do not approach me and he of course like got like what the f did it like he started cussing and yelling like what what's your problem and i and i looked at him and he started he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car he didn't come anywhere near me he crossed a couple cars down from my car and was like what's continuing to cuss and say what's your problem and i said you do not approach women in a parking lot i just kept saying do not approach me you do not approach women in a parking lot like yelling it no male no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever should no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot and if a male does approach you you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them could you not hear the hypocrisy of women women are not even on the same page with each other okay that man only said excuse me he wasn't staring at her he wasn't like he didn't even ask for a number or anything he said, excuse me. And then she pretty much just absolutely went berserk on him. And he walked away. You know? So this is the thing that women don't understand. Right? And let's, let's even give it an example of um, the dating scene, right? If men keep getting rejected, there will come a point when men will feel like, fine, I'm not going to even try. I'm not going to even try. So just like that... If a man, even being nice to a woman, even trying to be polite, try to be a gentleman, and then he gets these kind of reactions, right? I've seen videos of men opening door for women and women not even going through that door, opening another door to go through that one. So this is the, this is the price of women right here. The, the price of being women in nowadays, you did it. Women have done the bad apples, in a sense, have basically make men uh, do what they are. Turn men into what they are. This this is the result of feminism, right? You think you're strong and independent. How many times you hear this, right? You hear this over and over again. You don't need no man. You're strong and independent. Oh, that's the re so that's the result that you're getting. Now, men will see you as strong and independent. Women have killed... You, you have to... You, you got to listen. Women have killed chivalry. Period. Okay? Women have killed the gentleman. You, the first one where the old man helped. Because 
he's not dealing with women anymore. He's not dealing with women's BS. So yeah, he may be a gentleman, right? Because old school stuff. But essentially, you, younger men, right? Men in their, you know, like I think 40s, 45 and below, they deal with it. They deal with women like these on a regular basis. Women will never see the consequences of their actions or never perceive, right? Perceive the consequences of their actions. They don't realize that, okay, maybe men are acting a certain way because of what, how women act. This is the thing where women don't understand the power they have. They really don't. Women think that it's so weak, but true power that women have is how they affect men. And this is the thing that women are so blinded by. You have called, I'm saying it right, this is my contrary take. Women have essentially caused every problem that they are complaining about right now, they've caused it. Everything. You, you can name me a problem, I can pretty much turn it back, bring it back to the source as women or the root of that problem. So it's just ridiculous that women are so blinded to reality that they have created themselves.